The Motoring Tip of the Week is brought to you by Walmart. For everyday low prices on Pennzoil, conventional, and synthetic oils. Our Motoring Tip of the Week concerns spark plugs and tune-up intervals. Now, the majority of modern cars have a spark plug change interval prescribed at roughly about 160,000 K. That's huge. A lot of motorists never get to that level, so it's kind of pushed way back in your mind to the point where it's almost out of your mind to even do a tune-up. However, we want to do some mini tune-ups on that engine before that 160K interval. So we'll do a fuel system cleaning, uh, fuel injector cleaning, throttle body cleaning, air filter every 50 to 70,000K, and that will keep our engine running clean, giving good fuel economy, and keep the filters uh, in good shape to protect the engine from ingesting any dust or grit that could wear it out. Now, when we get to 160,000K, most cars, as I said, are gonna require new spark plugs. But one thing that doesn't change is that if you're running with worn spark plugs at that 160,000 kilometer interval, you're gonna uh, suffer some fuel economy drop, and when you get really cold weather, it may be the tipping point between the engine starting or not. You know, the guy that lives in a condo in southern Ontario and parks underground probably never experiences this, but western Canada and northern Ontario, Quebec, and eastern Canada can be a whole different situation. The car's sitting outside, maybe you can't get to a block heater and it's a minus 20 morning, all of a sudden, that thing's cranking pretty darn slow to start with, and if you've got worn spark plugs, that's the difference between it going and not going. So this spark plug, even though it's got 160K, that tiny little white dot that you see there in the center of the ground electrode, that's the platinum pad that the gap jumps, the spark jumps across and grounds out against. It's still there, still intact at 160,000K, but two of the spark plugs in this engine are quite different. This is another spark plug out of that same engine, same 160K, but a different situation happened here. You can see the ground electrode is all cupped. It's worn into a cup shape right up here. And when I look closely at it through the magnifying glass, that tiny little white dot that I showed you on the other spark plug, which was the platinum piece welded to the ground electrode, it's dropped off. It's completely missing on two of the four spark plugs. So the gap gets much bigger, and that can result in hard starting and sub-zero temperatures and poor fuel economy. Keep in mind that on aluminum head engines, they need to be almost stone cold when you're re replacing the spark plug, so you may have to take the car in the night before to achieve this job. But one thing, you're, you're, the big benefit you're gonna reap from this is better fuel economy and guaranteed starts in sub-zero weather. That's your motoring tip of the week.